Have you ever wanted to play a farm life sim that has monster collecting mechanics? Well, your prayers may have just been answered thank you to indie developer Glumberland. Their new game, Ublet, sees you farming, decorating, and competing in dance battles, all whilst getting to know the residents of Badgetown. It sounds intriguing enough, but is it a good blend of genres, or is it the Oob one out? Well, thank you to the publishing team for the review code, and now, let's find out. The protagonist leaves home to start a new life in Badgetown. The mayor welcomes you into the land of Oob and offers a rundown shack on the farm as a new home. They also offer an Ooblet from one of the four clubs, being Frunbuns, Peak Snubs, Moss Sprouts, and Mimpums. From there on, the protagonist will focus on upgrading their home, buying seeds to grow on the farm, and carrying out different quests in order to unlock new items and content. You can also increase your friendship with the other inhabitants, and this will earn you rewards. So Ooblets is a farming simulator with monster collecting and light RPG mechanics. You can carry things out at your own pace, but some tasks will require specific items, cooked goods, or produce to complete. Let's look at the Ooblets themselves though. These creatures follow humans around much like pets, and there are a large variety of them. Some can only be found in specific parts of the map, although many reside in the town. Each type has three variants, common, unusual, and gleamy, and these can be distinguished by color. As you walk around, you'll come across different groups of ooblets. These can be challenged to dance battles in exchange for specific items. Unlike many monster taming games, this one requires the player to have certain food or veg available, which could result in making the experience feel more like a grind. This, however, does encourage you to spend adequate time at the farm and to purchase all manner of seeds, keeping both genres well balanced. Once the battle commences, each team is required to carry out different dance moves in order to reach the total score before the opposing team. The turn-based system uses cards. Each team gets a set number of beats per turn which are used to play dance cards. Different cards cost different amounts of beats to play. Ooblets will have cards and signature cards, with the latter being specific moves that only that species of Ooblet can perform. There are also cards that stun opponents, and hype cards which increase the amount of points a card rewards. On top of this, there are cards that steal opponents' points, and others that will decrease the opponent's team's points. The songs will go on for a few turns, and battle will end when the first team reaches the total, or whichever has the most points at the end of the song. The premise is simple enough to pick up, but there is a lot of strategy involved too. Knowing which cards to use and how to trip your opponent is key, as any wrong move can set you back. The reward is a seed from your opponent team's leader. These seeds can be planted to grow your very own Ooblet. Your team will level up and gain new ability cards. This was an interesting mechanic and a welcomed one at that. Rather than having to capture or convince your foe to join you, the player has to earn the seed in order to then grow your own. This means that the game encourages you to return to the farm regularly to check your crops and pull out ooblets when they are ready. Farming is a simple affair and you'll have to till your soil, clear the debris to make room for crops and even water them. One quality of life feature is the ability to see how long each crop will take to grow and how wet or dry the soil is. Carrying out tasks will consume your stamina, similar to how it works in Stardew Valley. The major difference here is that the protagonist will not collapse if the stamina is expended and going to bed late will make you groggy the following morning. Produce from your farm can be sold, exchanged during side quests, or used to create many dishes. Your character will gain experience points when carrying out different actions, each rewarding a specific amount of points. These include talking to certain NPC characters and collecting cans off of the streets. There is a wishing well in the town center where points can be traded to unlock items and services that will aid you throughout the game. The best part is that Ooblets can be assigned to carry out tasks at your farm. Joining one of the four clubs will earn you some perks, such as cosmetics, and access to the other clubs is available as well, except you get no particular perks or discounts. Some of the quests can feel slightly tedious to complete, mainly due to the lack of any key items needed to complete them, but luckily these can be removed from the task board to be replaced by more attainable jobs. 
There is a decent balance of creature collecting, farming and exploration, and the developers have managed to create a delicate gameplay loop that requires the player to experience them all in unison, while still making it partly self-explanatory. I really enjoyed the battles too, especially since they are fun to carry out and are challenging enough. The fact that you'll need to appease the wild Ooblitz leader with a specific gift before challenging them to the dance battle encourages the player to plan ahead as well as experiment with some of the tools you'll construct. A missed opportunity, in my opinion at least, would have been to have some sort of trade system here too. Gameplay is an interesting mix of genres and works very well for the most part. It gets 18 out of 20. Controls are responsive and easy to get to grips with. A lot of the actions such as fishing require just one button press. And my only real pet peeve was the item management of the game as you had to go into the menu and press quite a few buttons to consume an item. It is a minor thing though and controls get 17 out of 20. When it comes to the visuals, they are colorful and engrossing with a cell shaded CalArts cartoon style. Animations are very simple but ideal for the type of game this is and they really shine in the dance battles. They are reminiscent of the breakdance battles of the 80s where two groups would outdance an opponent. Seeing them dance and wiggle is both quirky and funny and watching the other ooblets surrounding the battle and also dancing while spectating really brings the whole thing to life. Some special effects are implemented as visual aids to denote status ailments and power-ups and the top-down camera view works well and I experienced no issues during my playtime. The audio is equally simplistic but effective with songs being played on Casio keyboards and percussions keeping the ooblets moving in sync. The songs can be catchy if somewhat repetitive and luckily the songs from the battles are rotated at random. A lot of the sound effects are simple gibberish or uttered boinging sounds. Being able to customise your character and your ooblets with accessories really does empower the player to cater to a specific style and having virtually all menus and activities labelled such as farming and active quests can be left in the heads up display or hidden away. The ooblet designs are fun and look like something out of the animated series Adventure Time. Visuals score 17 out of 20. Audio is appropriate to the action and does a good job of keeping the dance battles entertaining, albeit it can become a little repetitive at times and it also scores 17 out of 20. Ooblets cost £26.99 and regional equivalents are on your screen now. If you are watching this review on or around the time of release, then there is a release discount available up until the 7th of September. There is a lot to uncover and carry out in this game, meaning that your mileage may vary. True completionists will easily pour hundreds of hours collecting every ooblet, and there is a very well polished game here, although it is still on the steeper side when you consider that games like Stardew Valley are much less expensive. However, it's nice to see the living plant and battling ideas implemented to freshen things up and differentiate from straight farm life sims. On balance, value scores 14 out of 20. To conclude, Ooblitz is the perfect example of an indie developer mixing up two beloved genres and making the game accessible. There is a lot to do and discover and it's the kind of game that can be played at your leisure. The creature collecting mechanic alone will add many hours to your playtime and this is without mentioning the dance battle tournaments in the barn and the different things to discover outside the comfort of Badgetown. Aside from all that, you can even just open a shop and comfortably live your best shopkeeper's life. A game that feels fresh yet familiar at the same time and definitely worthy of a recommendation. Ooblets gets a switch up score of 83%. Thank you everybody for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave a like if you did. This was written for us by Asdin over at Grinning Wolf Games, so thank you very much to you Asdin. Please do check out his channel, there will be a link to it in the top pinned comment. Don't forget if you are looking to purchase any eShop credit, you can do so via our website switchup.gg. It does help the channel out if you do it this way, which is very much appreciated. There's also a link down there to play Asia if you're looking to import any games, use the link and use the code stated and you can get yourself 5% off of an order. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.